Good morning, it's Vinny here. Now today I'd like to talk about uh, how to use the Tor alerts in the WR way. Why is the WR way? Meaning that even if there is a bullish signal, we, we can use it to sell. All right. So this is how creative in a way that Tor alerts or Tor uh, you know method has been structured. And I'm just gonna take a look at copper and WTI. Uh, WTI is oil because um because th that there's important implication on this all right so let's take a look at the disclaimer all right so this is why i have here on today's alert um i have um you know the copper buy signal okay so that's the copper buy signal all right and uh, if you were to scroll a little bit higher for today you're gonna see there's a uh, oil wti buy signal all right so uh, as you know there was a risk off yesterday so why why does why do all these two signals which are seemingly risk on type of trades they appear all right so it's uh, good for us to investigate a little bit more all right here i have copper so copper there was a buy signal yesterday and you know that this buy um, it's given by a green arrow and hit right into a into a resistance. Okay, how do I know that this zone is a resistance? All right, that's because you know you, you can look left and uh, um, you know we, we can see that price stop here for a while. Okay, you might not be trading copper. I know. Um, however, you can use this as an example for the other trades that you want to take. All right. So what what I usually do is that uh, I, I I would really insist on buying low and selling high. So obviously this is high. All right. And if I want to buy, I make sure that um, you know it breaks out of this resistance okay and there must be a reason why the market is stopping here right so i usually like to take a look at the higher time frame so for example this is the higher time frame not much can be seen here you want to buy at the low you want to sell at the high all right so i will move to the month and then now things gets a little bit interesting all right um, I, I could see for example if you take a look at the bigger trend here all right then probably there might be a trend line that can be drawn okay so this is for example a trend line that can be drawn all right um it seems that you know based on the month candle the 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 this candle is potentially breaking above the trend line now few things number one we might not be able to draw the trend line properly number two is that um people might also be looking at trend line but they might also be looking at the previous high as a gauge okay so support and resistance in this aspect can be very subjective so i will emphasize a lot more on the price reaction all right and in our perspective what is price reaction and that's basically the wash and means okay now the market likes to trick people the market likes to lure you in to buy at a high and then uh where what are they doing they are actually offloading whatever they bought earlier all right to you okay so this is how they make the money and what do they like to do the market the smart money would like to sell when it's at a high but then in order to sell to you they want you to buy okay so these are things that always do to trick the retailers or to trick people who are who are you know not with them all right so what, what can we do here right so if you know that there's potentially that there could be a resistance then that's where we need to go and invest investigate right so we need to know certain levels okay for example using the tall mtf i have the green wash level being automatically plotted here so that's 3.0675 okay i have the weak wash level that's being plotted here now it means that if price can continue to move up okay fine it's up all right if it doesn't then there's a very high chance for wash and rains to happen so we want to watch out for whether price can close below 3.0675 as the first indication and of course the second indication will be 3.0445 okay so that's basically the trade plan for copper all right now let's take a look at the uh, wti which is oil all right so um there was a bullish signal here let's take a look at the day all right you can see that there was a bullish signal here but remember that there was a very strong resistance around the 41 dollar okay um, unless that one fine day this resistance is broken i would still treat this whole zone as a resistance okay so there was a bullish signal here where this bullish signal didn't really change any of the price structure because it is still being resisted all right uh price had a bit of a white swing here all right it, it didn't really 
generated a wash and rinse okay a beverage wash and rinse to start off with and right now we are we're we are looking to see whether uh, today or maybe next week can follow through okay so if you flip that into the h4 right where we're gonna have the tall mtf then we're gonna have the key level coming out okay the key level will be 4050 all right 4050 will be the key level that we are looking at and then uh, if price is below this level we'll be looking for some bearish uh, action all right so um, do keep a look out on these two trades because there's implication whether um, the new speculation the speculation uh, at this moment that covid is going to worsen in a lot of countries all right and that news is, is uh, starts to get people worried about you know the the economic growth again 